So I've just had to replace my rear brakes with brand new rear brakes. I was thinking, there must be a better solution than these tapered bearings. And there is! So we're going to install these Polo 6N2 ball bearing hubs and brakes. So these are the parts we're going to use. So this is the Polo 6N2 rear stub axle. It goes straight down, unlike the Mark II or the Corrado one, which is tapered to take the tapered bearings. This takes a ball bearing. Speaking of ball bearings, this is the hub. So inside here we have ball bearings, and of course we're back to the disc. So this is a disc from the Polo 6N2, and obviously it all matches up. Uh, if you have ABS, you will need a brand new ABS line because 9 out of 10 chances it's either going to be stuck in the hub and you're going to break it or by getting it out it breaks somewhere along the line or you just can't get out so buy a brand new one and that's the problem solved obviously yes we have brand new hardware so that's the nut that goes on top so when we have the hub back on here we can tighten it down with the brand new nut and then there's a little beauty cover cap going to all of that as well so let's uh get ready to install it so just before we install all the new hardware, why am I upgrading to 6N2? What was wrong with the original stub axle? Well, technically there's nothing wrong with it. But the problem is, the bearings are really small, there's a lot of friction just to get the wheel to spin, and the bearings seem to always fail the NCT or the MOT. So why am I upgrading the rear stub axle and the rear hub? Well, the biggest difference between the Polo hub and the Corrado hub, or the Mark II Golf hub, is that this takes tapered bearings and this takes ball bearings. So if you look at the, the bearings here in the hub, it's the same setup you'd find in the front hub of the Mark II Golf or Mark III Golf, and the bearings are actually fantastic. The other difference is it'll be reduced by rolling road resistance. So once I tighten up the nut onto the hub, that's it, it's done, it's finished. I don't have to fail every NCT with the rear bearings being either too tight or too loose, the hub being too tight, too loose, or whatever is happening. Once you've set it, that's it. It's done. It's finished. You don't have to worry about loose bearings or will I have to tighten or loosen them for the NCT or MOT. Okay, so that's enough talk. Let's go install all of this. So although we did a great job installing the brand new brakes, now we're going to strip all of this off and get ready to install the newer new brakes. Now with the caliper just removed like that and the carrier removed as well, give it a shake, the bearings ready to come off. And now the rear brake should come off. Now looking at our stub axle, we have to remove these four bolts. Okay, so I'm doing the last nut now. Mine sort of came off easy enough, but there was plenty of copper grease in there. So uh, if yours don't come off, loads and loads of heat. That's the old stub axle removed. Now we're getting ready to install the new stub axle. Okay, and here we go. Right, let's install this next. All right, and that's now the new stub axle installed. So we have the stub axle, this is the axle, and behind it you can see there is a line. So obviously this is a non-ABS stub axle or axle. Uh, if you wanted to put ABS or your car was equipped with ABS, now would be the time to be putting the ABS sensor on here. Uh, it comes in from behind and you use your little allen key or your little hex bolt just to uh, hold it in. But obviously because this is a non-ABS car, we're not installing ABS. So next we're going to install our hub. So you just push it on. Give it a wiggle. Look how smooth that is compared to the original, which would have the taper bearings. So that's now the rear hub installed. Next we will install the nut that holds it all on. Next we're going to install our triple square nut, that's going on next, and let's tighten that down. So as simple as that, look how, that was tightened with uh, the Milwaukee impact gun, like that's pretty damn tight. There's a nylon nut in there, or nylon tread, so that's not going to back itself out. And look how smooth it is. 
you wouldn't get that out of the tapered bearing so that's also why I'm doing this. Right, let's get on the disc. Just now the disc gone with the retaining nut that holds the disc onto the hub. Okay, so just bolting on the carrier just now and these are the nuts that hold on the carrier onto the hub and uh, they're too short. So, let me sort of see it there now. Yeah, they're too short. So you will need longer bolts or hex bolts, whatever they're called. Uh, and there's a certain tread on them as well. I don't know what the tread is, but basically you need longer bolts. So probably only another 10 mil longer. So I'm not gonna stop now. I just have two bolts that's holding it roughly in place. But uh, yeah, you will need longer bolts. Next, the pads are going in and then the two 30 mil bolts that go up here that hold the caliper onto the carrier. Okay, that's now the brakes all reinstalled. Now we have our dust cap. I'm going to install that now into the hub. Okay, now for a small bit of violence, we have the center cap on. Give the wheel a spin. That is turning lovely. Hear how smooth that is. Perfect, right, and that's it. So I'll be doing this swap, does it actually push the wheel out further from the body? Nope, it's actually the exact same offset. So the wheel is actually in the same place where it was on the original uh, Corrado rear hub or on the new Polo hub. So the wheel actually sits at the same distance. And of course with the bore bed type A's on the Corrado, they naturally just sit out probably about 10 mil anyway. So it doesn't actually make the wheel sit further out or further in. It's the exact same as the original. Obviously you should put your dust guards on, but they sent me out the wrong ones. So that's now the Polo 6N2 hub all built onto the Corrado, which is the exact same as the Mark II Golf or Mark III Golf. So if you like this type of content, give a thumbs up, subscribe over there. As always guys, thanks for watching. See you later.